And 10 seconds, camera one. Oh, shiny. In five, <laughs> four, three, <laughs> two. They are bringing unique insights of their culture to Wellington Armageddon, representing the voice of the past and the voice of the future. From Hollywood, welcome Native American film icon Saginaw Ground to the model and actor Rick Moore. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Lovely to have you here. Saginaw, so many roles, uh, so many movies, world's fastest Indian, um, Breaking Bad, American Horror Story, so many. Which one brings back the best memories? I think that one probably we haven't seen yet is called uh, Winter in the Blood. Ah. Yeah, and I really enjoyed that, that movie because it wasn't uh, me, but it was a character that I could almost understand. And Why was that? He was a blind man. Ah. And a lot of times we were blind to what we were surrounded. Wow. And I, I kind of pictured that as a, as a moment for me to be that kind of character. That's cool. How has the Hollywood business changed for Native American actors over time? I think they're more getting more used to Native people being in Hollywood and yeah. more ourselves rather than the way that they how and all that, all that kind of business. You know. Rick, it started for you. With, with, did, did the modelling come first before the acting? Or? Always, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was the baby steps. And what was the what was the intrigue? What was the desire to do that? Uh, you know, it, it was the uh, putting a voice to my face. Yeah. Yeah. So many years of just being a voiceless image yeah. it takes its toll. Yeah. You know? I started to feel empty, and I'm, I'm said, you know what? It's time to graduate. Take it to the next level. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So and then yeah. along comes Twilight. Bang. Along, bang, and oh. that basically turned my life upside down. Did it? it, did. it it's, it's that true Hollywood story of you never know when it's going to happen. When it happens, you've got to roll with it yeah. or you've got to step aside. So that started to afford you all sorts of other opportunities as it, a result it, of it? It just upped the, it upped the game plan. And, and I mean, that's, that's Hollywood on a super scale, isn't it? Uh, you know, not many, not many times you can get uh, an opportunity to be in a $700 million franchise. No, so, there no, isn't. No. <laughs> so even the smallest parts are quite, quite large. Absolutely. Yes. So you're here and it's Armageddon this weekend. Yes. Tell me about the workshops that you're going to be hosting. We're looking forward to sharing um, our impact of, like you had questioned, uh, Native Americans in roles in Hollywood and uh, the backbone to how we uh, share our message, even through film, you know, that, that you know, making everything uh, politically correct and uh, honoring the, uh, the messages that they want that need to be conveyed. And is it, is it passing down the wisdom that was passed on to you from, because you, yeah, your grandfather's were very important with that. I, I, I enjoy what I do because I'm able to get the message of how we were, how we live our lives, and how we believe our philosophy is wrong. And it's, uh, it's, it's uh, I can sit here and tell you, and talk to you all day, and you'll really understand what my message is. But right now, it's, it's being our tradition for keeping alive. And why is it so important? It's, 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 it's for everyone yeah. to keep their traditions alive. Your traditions of whatever, you know, German, French, we all have traditions and we all need to remember who we were and where we come from. That's getting to know ourselves. When you know yourself, you're, you're complete. Yeah, yeah. What are the challenges that are facing um, you in terms of maintaining and, and preserving your culture? Uh, challenges are becoming fewer and fewer, to be honest with you, because we have a culture that's growing. Uh, of course, the impact of social media has played a huge, a huge, uh, uh, has had a huge effect on our productivity and how we are able to uh, convey the, the correct messages yeah. and get that right information out to the masses. And that's that's the that's the blessing I think of social media. Yeah, yeah. and and I guess it's, it's striking that balance between that other life that you have of that Hollywood craziness and. And you know, keeping it real with with what is super important to you. Well, the beautiful thing is, we get to we're we're allotted this beautiful platform to to live both yeah. because um, we truly enjoy acting, we truly enjoy the passion of the craft. Um, it does hold a very special place. We met on a set, you know, we've known each other for almost ten years, yeah. and through the evolution of our experiences, we've managed to come together and decide, hey, let's now take the face into a new voice, as I said before, and, and uh, let's, let's roll with it. I know that you were greeted with a beautiful porphyry when you arrived. I think was it down in Wellington? It was. No, it was, was here. It, Auckland, it was here in Auckland. The, the minute our land feet touched the ground. What, how do you feel when you're when you're with other indigenous people of, of our country, of any country that you go to? I it seemed like I knew everybody that I come in contact with. 
regardless of, of the difference in our, the way that we live our lives. Mm -hmm. But when they listened to me, or when I listened to them, I could understand and they could understand me. That's the main thing we have to do is understand each other and respect each other and always be there to help each other. You know, as you said, I could actually sit here and listen all day and we could talk, but we are out of time. So thank, thank you. you so much for stopping by. It's the best for this weekend. Thank Enjoy you so the rest of your us. time at NZ. Thank you. Yeah, you can meet Saginaw and Rick at Wellington Armageddon this Friday and Saturday. Is it Sunday too or just Friday? I believe yeah. it's Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Friday, oh, maybe Sunday too. Cool. Mm -hmm. All details on our website. Tomorrow on the show, Aaron Brunet is in the kitchen with plum porridge and chocolate mousse. We are checking out the steamy new Magic Mike movie along with superhero saga Ant-Man. American illusionist Joshua Seth joins us with a trick or two and we will give you the clue to win an entire year's worth of broadband from Vodafone. Have a wonderful day, take care and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. in. Lovely to oh, meet you. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. 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 Could you get one of mine in there, please? Selfie. <laughs> oh, I'm too old for that. Uh, don't lie. Come on, you do it. Get one here. Get one here. Thank you. Oh, no, there needs to be a repatch. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, that was cool. Hold on.